So this is the beginnings of my home install of a log burner and the beginnings of all of the flue and everything else that needs to go in. Up there you can see I put the registry plate in. Just want that really just to stop stuff dropping down because I'm putting a full 904 flue up which is the harder stainless steel version so you can burn pretty much most things and it'll last a long time so I need to get up on the chimney and put on the chimney pot because uh, currently my chimney has been concreted over in four holes this is one of four chimneys I have in my house but I'm only opening up this one and having a log burn in the living room so up onto the roof get the chimney pot on get the other holes sealed up which all will come apparent you'll see the uh, video drone video of the holes that are in my other chimneys so as you can see here I'm gonna go and put that second hand pot reclaim pot up on my roof onto my top of my chimney I've got a four stack chimney which is actually joined to the neighbors which makes it an eight stack uh, a few tools here I just need a line to drop down to pull my fuel and my liner through um, won't be fitting the line today but that's uh, coming up as we go along and that's about 30 foot long that rope that will give me a chance to measure it properly by dropping a bobbin down um, and then I can see exactly how long a flue I need to order and all the associated equipment. Um, I've got some cement to put the pot on. I've got these bits of mesh, which you'll see when I get up there. I need to cover three other holes where the concrete has degraded over time. I'm going to stick these on with this raw chem uh, two-pack kind of glue. Stick them on, then at a later date, I can come and haunch up concrete on the top of them and fill them right in. Uh, and just a few tools to go up there really. Torch, just have a look down the chimney, double check it's all completely clear, although I have rotted it and uh, rotted to the top so I know it's roughly eight meters. Uh, so watch your space. There we go, just gotta go up there, and get a pot on the left hand side, number one. We'll get a roof ladder up as yet. There you go, pot's on, just a few bricks have to be replaced, pot's on. So, thank goodness, whilst working on the chimney up the top, I did have a registry plate in place and I plugged it with a bag because I've got a whole bucket load of stuff come down, mainly from the chimney at the top where I chipped it off, but also everything that falls down brings another load of dust with it. And then the dust goes everywhere on all your surfaces, so sheet up well. Here's my next phase. Got my flue liner, which has got directional arrow, arrows on it. So the arrows go in the upward pointing motion. Got my suspended cowl locked on, got the Jubilee clip ready, and then that'll go over the top of my chimney pot, and then locked onto the chimney pot. Five inch cowl, flue rather five inch flue being ready to be pulled in with an end cone on it clip that to me rope for assisted pull and then once that's into my living room I can adjust that screw on my five inch coupler and get ready to put the flue pipe on as well stove pipe and that's the parts that need to go in next. Looks well cool. Just gonna zoom in and out.
So there you go. Stove flue is through. Stainless steel, 904. Dropped that right the way through. Ended up cutting about a meter off it that came into the room. And I still need to retract it up somewhat. Take a few layers off that. Just keep pulling a few of them off. Then I'll be screwing that on and put a self tapper in to keep it in place so it doesn't unscrew. And then putting that into my stove pipe with some cement and then cut that to the right size for the top of my stove and try and hide all that up there a little bit. So here's a quick look at my half. Uh, it used to be grey bare concrete from where I shuttered it and just made a new half. Uh, but because it's bare, bare and grey, I just gave it a quick sand and I've attempted to seal it with some patio sealer so that if I get any brick, uh, brick dust or um, soot or any normal dust on there in the future, I can just sweep it or hoover it clean. Uh, it looks a bit brown at the moment because it's wet, but I think as it dries out, it'll go back grey and I'll probably give it another two coats and just seal it really. So um, the, that's what I'm going for, a concrete finish. I'm not going to marble it or cover it in any tiles or anything like that. As you can see, my stove's arrived. Five kilowatt stove. I've started to put my stove pipe onto the screw on connector. So I've put it in there with two self-tapping bolts, one either side. It fitted quite nicely in there, male into female. Therefore, the oil will drip down the pipe. And if you can see under there, I've hand filled it as much as I can with flue cement, top and bottom. I'm also gonna wrap that in aluminium tape. Um, I think that's going to be fully sealed anyway, but the aluminium tape will stop anything breaking off, uh, and I don't think it's going to get that hot anyway. So then I'll get this shortened to where that needs to be when it's up there. So I might have to cut off maybe two, three hundred mil before I connect up onto there and screw onto that. We're getting closer. A little bit of aluminium tape, high resistant, heat temperature, heat resistant tape. Just tidy it up, hold any of that flue cement in. Uh, that won't be seen, that'll be above the registry plate. It's worth offering it up because you may not need to take 200 mil, 300 mil off it. I've had a little measure up, and if I did get connections done, I need about a hundred mil off of that because I still want the black to go through the registry plate. So I'm going to take that pipe out now and cut a hundred mil off of that. So here you can see I'm measuring the stove for its height, including its collar. It's about 23, but I know the pipe's going to push in up to three quarters three quarters of an inch um, it also sort of tightens up into that section so I know it doesn't go right to the bottom so I've made a mark on my wall in my fireplace at 21 and three quarters puts me on that mortar line so you can see uh, I've had a little bit of delay in putting it all in because I've retiled the half because it looks a bit better than just concrete. Uh, so I've joined that on there. You can see I've just screwed it on. Screwed on quite well, but I'm gonna unscrew it and also put some tape in there, uh, fireproof rope tape and some um, fire putty. And then I'm gonna screw it back on tight again. So that's it sealed on the pipe, but that's gonna be undone as yet. And this black pipe will get cut down in line with that mark on the wall. And then that should be the height of my little fireplace. So there's my flue pipe. I've cut it down, took about six inches off 
as per the mark on the wall. Um, I've put some of this fire rope, which is actually, it's a glue on one, but I've actually peeled it apart, stuck it together, and then I've poked it down there around that edge, along with some fire cement. And then that will be sort of almost down here. Well, it will be down there. And then as that collar screws in, that should all seal up nice and gas tight. And then I'll still be smearing some around the top of here once it's all fitted. And that'll be my flue pipe connected to my, or my stove pipe connected to my flue pipe. They are all sealed onto the flue stove pipe connector. And all I've got to do now is push the pipe up, push the stove in, pull the pipe down and seal it into the stove. Registry plates back up. Sort. Stove collar on, Allen key down. It's got fire rope in there and fire cement and that's tightened down really nice and it all squeezed out and then I just smeared off what I didn't need. So. Now we just need to follow that into that pipe and seal that one. Well, there it is, the finished product is in. It's sealed around there. So, sealed top to bottom, let that go off, and then do some small controlled burns, let it all settle in. Yeah, pleased with that. Very nice too. And there we go. There's the first burn off. Three I've got to do for 40 minutes at a go. Let it cool down, burn it off again, let it cool down, burn it off again. Just to let the, all the metals and the paint settle in. But on the whole, very good. Pleased with that. Get some good logs now, all done.